Our nation's geographic isolation has allowed us to live in relative peace and tranquility, sheltered from hostile forces by two oceans. With the advent of ballistic missiles, geography is no longer a barrier to attack. And the rapid proliferation of missile technology makes a strike increasingly more likely. Our high altitude missile detection and warning space systems alert us to missile launches. These systems utilize infrared or IR sensors to detect and track rocket engine heat during a missile's boost phase. Missile launch, staging, and engine burnout occur in very rapid succession. Once engines burn out, the space-based IR systems can no longer monitor the missile's now cold post-boost vehicle. The Missile Defense Agency is aggressively pursuing means to track and intercept incoming missiles. A number of promising steps have been made in the detection, tracking, discrimination, and interception of missiles in the terminal and very late mid-course phases of flight. Currently, however, the nation has no operational means to observe missiles during their mid-course phase, which spans roughly the middle two-thirds of missile flight, between boost phase burnout and when ground radars eventually see the threat. During this phase, warhead dispensing post-boost vehicles maneuver and change course. They dispense multiple re-entry vehicles to hit geographically diverse targets. And they deploy decoys and clutter designed to defeat ground-based tracking radars and interceptor systems. Without a mid-course tracking capability, our missile defense system is forced to detect, track, discriminate, and intercept incoming missiles very late in their flights. This approach leaves very little room for error, ultimately minimizing the potential of the overall system. Tracking missiles from launch to impact is analogous to the predicament that a baseball outfielder faces in catching fly balls. The moment the bat connects with the ball, the fielder begins moving, calculating the ball's flight characteristics, tracking it, and positioning himself for the catch. He relies on continuous visual contact with the ball to determine how fast and in what direction he must run, and whether he should call for the catch or yield to a better positioned teammate. If he can track the ball throughout its flight, he can catch any ball hit within a very large area. But should he lose sight of the ball in the sun, lights, or by being distracted, his ability to position himself is severely degraded. This, in turn, limits the area that he can effectively defend. Outfielders prepare for this eventuality by wearing polarized sunglasses that reduce the blinding glare of the sun and by honing their ability to singularly focus on the ball so as not to be distracted. A properly equipped and skilled outfielder keeps his eye on the ball all the way into the glove. In much the same way, the Space Tracking and Surveillance System, STSS, alleviates mid-course observation difficulties and enables undistracted missile detection and tracking. The ability to track against the cold background of space makes STSS an invaluable asset for discriminating between decoys, clutter, and live warheads. Its low Earth orbit viewing angle, coupled with a sensitive and agile IR tracking sensor, provides continuous visibility throughout missile flight. Continuous tracking provides early and accurate flight vector information, making it possible to defend larger areas. Early and precise queuing of other tracking assets and interceptors increases kill probability. Identification of live warheads from decoys and clutter enables interception with fewer assets. And the ability to track multiple targets during mid-course increases the number of engageable threats. Because STSS has early detection and mid-course tracking capabilities, it can provide more precise trajectory information to ground-based missile warning radars. This allows radars to extend their reach by narrowing their search beam coverage and focusing energy on the trajectory areas specified by STSS. The leverage of the STSS capability multiplies the effectiveness of our entire missile defense architecture. Like a skilled outfielder, STSS keeps its eyes on the ball helping to ensure the U.S. Ballistic Missile Defense System is as effective and robust as possible.